All lines are busy. Please hold. We've all been exposed to it. We've tapped our feet, hummed along, or maybe even grimaced at the sound. But outside of that phone call, have you ever given the on-hold music a second thought? Turns out, there's an interesting story behind the idea of on-hold music. An explanation of sorts for why customer service reps make you listen to soft music while they scramble to find answers about your missing package or what have you. At the most basic level, on-hold music is there so that customers know that they're still on the line and haven't been disconnected. While this simple, sometimes upbeat music is intended to keep us occupied, its origin was actually a happy accident. In the spring of 1962, American inventor and factory owner Alfred Levy faced an interesting problem. As a result of an exposed wire making contact with a metal girder, the radio station next door was transmitted through to his factory's telephone system. This meant that callers were greeted by the latest chart toppers instead of factory employees. Rather than see this as a nuisance to his business, Levy's entrepreneurial mind leapt at the possibilities. Come April 1966, he had patented the idea as the Telephone Hold Program System. This spawned the music on hold industry altogether, which quickly became the norm for customer service lines worldwide. Levy's patent, too, resulted in generations of audio production hubs dedicated to creating original, curated music to help businesses keep their customers at bay. So the next time that you're on hold, instead of gritting your teeth at that generic cookie-cutter country song, remember, if it weren't for Levy, A Loose Wire, and Fate, you could have been listening to complete silence. Adam Wallace, Global News.